Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and they were just finishing up a 70 El Camino for Alloy's Hot Rod Shop. Very cool car, I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, that's an awful cool El Camino, tell me a little bit about it. Well, Bobby wanted to have it sort of like an original style, so we he actually brought original door panels up here, I said I ain't using original door panels. <laughs> so I'll like, send them back home with him, we made custom door panels, but it looks like the original. So everything's, you know, custom made, uh, all, everything's out of leather, kick panels, door panels. We made a back tray out, out of the back that actually slides, got speakers in it. It's a pretty neat little addition because normally it's just like just a curtain hanging back there or something. Right. So we got rid of all that and made it really neat. And uh, pretty much just done a stock looking interior, but it's all custom leather. And uh, we bought the leather from Moores and Giles. Up in the, uh, it's a black Tribeca, it really good. Chris, Chris always hooks us up on that stuff. So. Appreciate them and you know what they do, but uh, again, this is pretty. Uh, no, pretty when basic, I was you when, know, when I was new, when I was shooting the video, I was thinking to myself, man, these interior clips are going to have to be short. The audio is because there's just a seat. Yeah, I the, mean, two, two door seats, panels uh, and, a, and a couple seats. Yeah, it is, but it, there's a lot of work in it. You know, just getting it to that. We want to make sure everything's nice, smooth. Everything lines up really neat. Um, used to a Clayton machine, you know trim you know stuff like that and really is that dressed a it up some console you put in there? no that's in a factory console okay so a lot of it's i mean if you didn't know anything you'd think it was an original but it's all custom plate it looks really neat you know it fits the build really well and i mean for the most part that's that's what alloys hot rods orders a lot of times they want to upgrade but it to look like it could have came in the car originally well, that's about basically what he does on all this right. build so you keep an original looking car just you know slam it down on the ground big wheels big motor and everything because a lot of these cars i mean they look just cool just the way they was right, right off the showroom floor yeah he, bobby built that for george lange uh, i think he's gonna like it i hope he does. He's supposed to be in this week so i dig we'll it check it's, check it's it got some one-off wheels on it it does bobby took a set of uh, super sport rally wheels and took them to billy specialty and they made one off i guess they're going to start selling them now but measured back tires 20 by 11. Uh, 11 and a half whatever it was there so yeah no we had a discussion about that because i was like these tires don't look as big as they normally are that was big and yeah. it doesn't look like they tugged the the bed they mm -hmm. may have a little bit but they did it so well that you can't tell yeah and i mean it looks like they did a nice clean i mean it's almost like a really updated original car you know nothing right. too modified you know no crazy stuff on it just a nice clean build nice paint job nice interior motor wheels and tires and all that stuff so it's a really cool car arrow straight mile deep black paint yeah, and then straight put, shift car. Put uh, charcoal stripes on mm -hmm. the hood. And it's a real conduction. It is a real conduction hood. It's pretty neat when you start it up and you see a little flapper going. Right, so right. that's pretty cool. What's up under the hood? Um, I think it's a 502 is what Bobby was saying. A uh, big block Chevrolet, obviously. Right. You know, it's built. I think it's getting carbureted on this one. Typical, um, you know, rev it up. Yeah. You know, it's a little different sound than a fuel injection. Fuel injection just started up and it goes. I like. I still like the old carbureted sound myself. Well, yeah, I, I like. I want the a cool old car. Well, until like you're trying to hurry because of the rain and you got to let it warm up. And then it that's when you drive the new right. car. That's when. Well, that's well. When we were trying to shoot it, it was like, come on, baby. Yeah, I don't want this thing not to sound good coming down the hill. But yeah, no, it takes a minute for them carburetor cars to warm up. But once they do, they have a unique sound. And it helps when you put gas in it. <laughs> well, yeah, there again, I don't think they put a whole lot of money yeah. in it. They don't want us driving them too far. No, not too far. No, that's a cool car, and up underneath it looks like um, it's set up to drive. This yeah. is this this car here where all Bobby's cars are built to drive. We know that, but right. a lot of them are high-end show cars too. Yeah. And this one here looks like it's probably was built to spend more time on the street than in the trailer. Let's put it that way. Spin the tires, right? Right, right. <laughs> no, it's a cool car, and I think y'all rocked it. I oh, appreciate it, Scotty. I dig it. I've always loved this generation Chevelle. Two headlights, four headlights. Yeah, none of that means much to me. I think they're all cool. And I knew y'all wouldn't want to get out of here before we took a closer look at this big block up under this Colin ducted hood. I love the orange. We did that on the SSUV, painted it orange. Just had to, you know, it's just the tip of a hat to history. And I think this car is gonna spend more time on the road than it is in a trailer. And that's always cool. And a Colin ducted hood, you gotta love that. Cool car for sure. So there you go, a 1970 Chevrolet El Camino from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, built by Alloway's Hot Rod Shop. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!
Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.